it is a two-year full-time master's. It offers students an opportunity to develop an integrated understanding of childhood mental health and childhood mental health disorders and difficulties from multiple perspectives. And it also offers students an opportunity to develop clinical skills with children and young people in a clinical context. So it really is a foundation course for those who want to go into either further research or into clinical practice with children and families. There are three elements to what students will be learning on the programme. There's a set of teaching and modules which helps students to develop an integrated understanding into childhood mental health and childhood mental health difficulties from multiple perspectives, including cognitive, behavioural, psychodynamic, neurobiological and systemic. The second element involves developing skills in research and research methodology. And the third element involves developing clinical skills, which is done mostly through workshops and seminars using interactive techniques such as role plays to help students develop skills such as how to build and maintain therapeutic relationships with children and young people, or how to develop skills in assessments and planning clinical interventions. One of the things I really liked about the course was that it was small and uh, it had a good mixture of people from the UK and from outside of the UK. Um, and also it had a good mixture of sort of theory and uh, learning about developmental psychology, but then it also had a very practical element. And even though it was two years, that was spread across both years. So even though the placement was in the second year, um, there was still a practical element in the first year and a lot of emphasis on sort of skills that you could use within, uh, within the workforce. In the same building, uh, and also right adjacent to us in, in the same building, we have a family school which has kids who've been excluded from education, uh, standard education. We've got clinical services, we've got the research bit which I'm involved in, uh, and we've also got postgraduate studies. So basically you would be in a building learning with all of these professionals as well, um, you know, a moment away. So I think it's a really good opportunity to use this course to build connections within the Anna Freud Centre, but also within the wider kind of mental health sector. In the first year, students attend a mixture of lectures, seminars and practical workshops to develop the theoretical research and clinical skills. In the second year, students attend a clinical placement for three days a week, for which they're supervised by an experienced clinician within the service. And they also attend lectures and seminars throughout the second year at the Anna Freud Centre. And they continue to work on their research project throughout the second year. The main transferable skill that applies to what I'm doing right now is uh, the research skills that I gained from the research project, which is part of the course. So there's a dissertation um, that you have to write. And I wrote um, a qualitative study um, that was looking at the barriers and facilitators to the use of a web-based portal in CAMS. Um, all of those things were things I knew nothing about before the course, including qualitative research. So, um, but I felt really supported to do that and, and take that forward. We kind of learned how to set up a session so that somebody feels comfortable and how to uh, cover really important topics like confidentiality and risk, uh, things that can kind of, you know, be really difficult to talk about, but it's also very important to talk about them. Um, so I think that's something I use literally every single day. And then in general, other aspects of the course that I just have held on to are um, that kind of integrative way of thinking. So looking at things from different perspectives. So um, thinking about the kind of a young person's development in the context of their whole family and their family relationships um, and then also the wider culture of their school and society has always been really helpful. The teaching is supported by a personal tutor system which is something we're very proud of at the Anna Freud Centre. Each student is assigned a personal tutor who supports the student in terms of their professional development, in their academic learning and progression, and also around their emotional well-being to ensure all students get the support they need to manage and do as well as possible. The personal tutor system can be particularly beneficial to international students to help them to adjust to life in the UK and to studying in London. However, all our students, both our home and international students, can benefit hugely from this support system. The course really looks after the people who are on it. So our co my cohort was only 12 people and we were all known to the course directors and all the staff individually and that's really helpful when you are struggling or you're new to the city and it felt really looked after and I think 
that's really, really important when studying. The attention that I got from my supervisor, my research supervisor, and also my course tutor was exceptional um, and, and incredibly focused on developing my own skills and also helping me to move toward the career path that I wanted to take. So that changed over, to, over time during the course. And I think my uh, supervisors that I had were incredibly flexible and also willing to sort of mold the, the, um, the kind of tasks that I was taking on so that they, they would uh, aid me in the future and that's definitely paid off. This program includes a substantial research component. There is a series of lectures and workshops aimed at developing research skills, both qualitative and quantitative, and there is also specific teaching around research in the context of evaluating clinical interventions. Alongside the teaching, the students undertake a two-year master level research project, which is supervised by our research tutors, and that gives the students an opportunity to put their research skills into practice. The research skills that I gained from doing the project over those two years were so valuable because after I left the course I was able to um, transfer those skills over to uh, working as a research assistant and moving up to a research officer role um, actually at the evidence-based practice unit uh, which is a collaboration between UCL and the Anna Freud Center. So I've been doing that work since uh, 2016 and uh, I've been really enjoying it and I think even though I've learned a lot of new skills through the work I've been doing, I don't think I would have been able to start uh, that, that role without the foundation that I had from the research project. Now I'm working as a psychological wellbeing practitioner and I've been accepted onto the clinical doctorate training in Essex in September so I'll be moving on to that. We are looking for students with a strong academic background who will be able to cope with the academic demand of the course. However, this is a course where students will also be working with children, young people and families. So we're also looking for students who have some experience in this area. This doesn't necessarily have to involve experience working in a clinical setting. For example, it could involve experience with family members or working as a youth worker or as a swimming instructor. It's not so much the quantity of experience that is important, but it's the quality of experience that we're interested in. So students are able to engage children and young people and are able to see things from a young person's perspective. It is also important to note that diversity and inclusion is important to us at the Anna Freud Centre. So we welcome students from diverse backgrounds and cultures as this brings a richness to our programme and adds to the learning and experience of all our students. So ultimately we are looking for students who are passionate about working in child mental health and about making a difference.